All right, so I got this uh, basil grow kit from the dollar store for only $2.50. It says it's easy to grow, facile à cultiver in French, no GMO. Okay, let's see what this consists of. So break open the pack and you have a set of instructions as well. Great, so let's follow the instructions. And inside the pack you have, as you can see, this moss ready-made moss and a packet of the seeds. This one is sweet basil. So let's try to get this started. Well, the instructions say, fill up a separate bucket or pot with two and a half cups of lukewarm water. So two and a half cups of lukewarm water. So we're gonna find two and one half cups. That's 0 0.6 liters. Just to double check. How many ml is 0 0.6 liters? That would be 600 milliliters. 600 ml, which is exactly two and a half cups. So we're gonna try and do that. Fill up separate bucket or pot, da 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 da. Let's do a place. Okay, so let's wait for this water to be lukewarm. Fill up a separate bucket, two and a half cups. Lukewarm water, place pellets in the water and stir until it's fully expanded. Once water has completely absorbed, you can loosen up the pure and grow mix with a fork. Hmm. Okay, so the water seems to be lukewarm and we're gonna be using this bowl. Keep that here. Okay, this is lukewarm, so let's do this moss directly in here so as you can see let's try to do that put it inside and let it absorb okay so we're gonna let it absorb for some time so the instructions say once again fill up a separate bucket or pot with two and a half cups of lukewarm water, place pellet in water and stir until it's fully expanded. Once water has completely absorbed, you can loosen the premium grow mix with a fork. For best results, leave it overnight for complete absorption, but we don't have time for overnight absorption, but if you have time, you can do that. Fill the planter with 90% of the expanded premium grow mix. Okay, so we're gonna fill this with the premium grow mix. Carefully open the seed packet and place seeds evenly divided in the premium grow mix. So this is the seeds. Place one sixth inch, 0 0.5 cm of grow mix on the seeds. That's the remaining 10%, uh, I believe. The enclosed seeds do not need access to sunlight in order to germinate. These seeds are slow germinators and may take up to four weeks to sprout. Wow, okay, that will take some time. Place the planter in warm spot for, uh, let's say 20 degrees Celsius, so we're gonna keep it inside. Uh, next to the window, keep the grow mix moist. Best is spraying, but avoid soaking completely. So we're gonna spray it for four weeks. Let's see how that goes. Wow, uh, that absorbed very, very, very quickly. Uh, while I was reading their instructions. So we're gonna continue to shake that up with a fork. So here's a fork. And 
that absorbed very, very quickly. So I'm gonna mix this up, as you can see, it's nicely absorbed. We're gonna break it down and spread it as much as possible. Nice and easy, all right. Okay, perfect. So now let's put, let's get this in here. Okay, it says put 90%, so we're gonna try to put 90%. I'm just gonna use my hands, as this is easy. Okay, let's try to put 90% of it inside. It's nice and moist, airy, and we'll try not to push it down too much and keep it airy as possible. So this one does not have a hole at the bottom. I'm not sure why. I noticed that most pots have a hole at the bottom, but this one doesn't. And we're gonna try to see if that makes a difference, of course. The hole at the bottom is for taking off excessive water, so we have to make sure that we don't excessively uh, water this uh, mix because there's no space out, so we have to be very careful about that. That seems about right, and it seems about 90% full, and you have another 10% left over here. So I'm going to go ahead and wash my hands. and put the sweet basil seeds inside. So here are the seeds, you can see. All right, we're gonna open these seeds. Make sure they're all down, nice and easy. You can fill one on the top, okay. So we're gonna open the seed packet. Okay, there's nothing on top. And let's see how they look like. Wow, the seeds are extremely small. Let's try to get them on my hand, all of them. Yep, as you can see, the seeds are very, very, very small. And I'm gonna carefully try to distribute them as much as possible. Okay, that seems evenly distributed. Okay, no seeds left. All right, perfect. And we're gonna put the rest of the mix right on top. So let's clear this out. I'm gonna use my hands again and put the remaining 10% of the mix evenly distributed right on top. Okay. There we go. Oops. And we can lightly pat. Let's get all of this in here. Okay, that's 
that's all of it. And then we can just pat the top. Make sure that there are very less air holes. Bop, 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 bop. There we go. I'm just patting it gently. And hopefully this should work out. Et voila. This is how it looks like. You can see, and then we'll place these. Let me wash my hands. Okay. And then we'll carefully place these near. Okay, let's see what the instructions say. Um, place the planter in a warm spot, 20 degrees Celsius, keep the grow mix moist, best by spraying. Okay, so we'll continue to spray. It's important to feed your plants uh, when your seedlings reach two to three inches, use a standard fertilizer and grow and follow the instructions on the fertilizer packaging. So once they grow five to eight centimeters, we have to uh, add fertilizer. Give water regularly, but please do not overwater. So it's very important not to overwater. Uh, do not move your plants outside until and after the last frost. So these are the set of instructions that comes with the box. So let's see if we can turn this into this. All right, let's take this and place it in a nice place. So, so we have a nice balcony but uh, we're not gonna place it out there. We're gonna keep it right here. Okay, just next to the window for some sunlight. And hopefully we can watch it grow and uh, tune in to see uh, how this grows out, or if it works or if it doesn't work. And if this one works, then we'll do a bunch of others uh, from Dollarama as well. Uh, stay tuned guys, subscribe and follow my channel and we'll see uh, how we can make a garden out of this beautiful balcony space that we have. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.